Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and in this video, I'm going to be ranking the top 20 scariest PSAs, in my opinion. My opinion. I honestly might be forgetting some PSAs, and that's gonna happen, because I looked through so many PSAs to make this list, and it was really hard to make this list, to be honest, because there are so many scary and effective PSAs, to be honest, so... Honestly, I don't want to waste too much time, I want to just get straight into the video, so... Let's do that. Some of you might be surprised to see this on here. Um, I put it on here because it's mainly a filler spot for the 20th spot, but I can justify why it's here. I put it on this list because it is quite disturbing imagery that we see. Even though I don't quite agree with the message, it is pretty disturbing to see a guy being run over by a car down on the ground, seeing a woman being tortured and stuff like that, possibly wrapped in the basement and the dead bodies and stuff like that. It is quite disturbing. Honestly, for me, it is the music that makes this more disturbing than what it is. Honestly, the only big nitpick I have of this PSA is the message in itself. Um, not a bad message, but I feel like they just really go over the top with showing their message and getting across their point, since they could have used a more serious message for this. But look, it's SWR. They like to go to the extreme with everything. But at least it ain't a mock where they legit say that people that play violent games end up being school shooters. I'm the sous chef here. With any luck, I should be head chef by next year. I've got this amazing fiance, who I won't be marrying this weekend, because I'm about to be in a terrible accident. But really, I should have cleaned up the grease over there, and they should never put the deep fryer so close. <laughs> Okay, before you say it, I know I give this PSA shit because WorkSafe Victoria actually did it much better, but I'm not going to deny the fact that when you see a burnt face, it is kind of disturbing. I still honestly find this PSA quite funny, even though it made its way onto this list. It's just because it's so all of a sudden when she trips over, but yeah, you know, it is disturbing because you do see her face like all melted and whatnot. I honestly don't have much else to say about this PSA besides the fact that this is probably the weakest PSA out of the, out of the campaign. There really are no accidents that prevent it did.
No one's surprised to see this on the list? Yeah, look, I thought so. The PSA just really talks for itself because it starts off all lighthearted and stuff with a nice Sunday lunch. Aha, uh -huh, I said it. But then it goes from zero to 100 really fucking fast, almost faster than a speeding bullet. Honestly, I just think that this PSA is a solid PSA because the performances is what sell this PSA. With shit performances in this PSA, it probably would have sucked. I know I could have put, is there anybody out there here instead, but I honestly find this PSA more disturbing and honestly a lot more depressing. I personally think that this is the Samaritan's best PSA because it is disturbing while it also does hit you emotionally as well. Like, holy shit. Also, the actress does pull off a really good performance and honestly, it's probably one of the best performances I've ever seen in a PSA. I'm just gonna say it. And I will argue that fact until I die. Also, the fact that when the person speaks, it makes like distorted guitar notes and stuff like that, it's just a really good touch of the PSA and adds to the disturbing factor. So that's why I put it here. Something is missing in this car. <laughs> Any clue? <laughs> Always bell to pin the back. I honestly think this PSA is well done. The fact that this PSA gets the audience questioning what is wrong in this situation until the kid with the blue jumper in the back goes flying through the front window. It builds up the suspense for what will end up happening and I think it's really well done and that's why I put it up here because of the suspense and it makes the PSA more disturbing. It's still being tested. Take ecstasy. And you're the guinea pig. Yes, one of my favorite PSAs of all time had to be on here. I honestly love everything about this PSA and the fact that they say that ecstasy is so dangerous because they don't even know all the side effects is really fucking good. I also love the dark and disturbing setting of this PSA where they're testing the drug ecstasy on the victim that's tied up in the chair. It looks so fucking good. And also the line, take ecstasy and you're the guinea pig is so memorable and I don't think I've ever forgotten it at all since I first saw this PSA. It's just that memorable. It's the freshest of feeling, the coolest high. So pick up 
Fun fact about this PSA, this PSA was directed by Ridley Scott. Yes, the same Ridley Scott that directed Alien and Blade Runner. How fucking cool. But I think this PSA is pretty fucking good. I feel like the fact that this PSA has a nice, light, catchy song about heroin while also seeing a person crawled up in a bowl on the bathroom floor and even vomiting in the toilet really adds to the disturbing factor. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like that's what really hits me in PSAs is stuff where they try to make it seem more lighthearted, even though you're seeing really disturbing imagery on screen. But yeah, maybe it is just me, but I just find that shit really disturbing. I wish I could have my heart attack again. I feel the ache in my jaw here. Ignored it. I feel a bit short of breath here. Ignored that. When I was down here, feeling tight in my chest. I didn't realize my heart muscle had already started to die. When all I had to do right at the start was call triple zero. I wish I could have my heart attack again. Honestly, think that this is just a well-done PSA that shows the dead victim explaining what they would have done if they had their heart attack again, and it's really good. A very solid message and a very solid idea that's executed very well in a PSA, and I think it's disturbing because of that. This could have been lower on the list, but I feel like it really fits here, and you will see why. Now things are getting spicy. I really like this PSA a lot because of how simplistic it is. It's just simple and effective. I find this PSA disturbing because of the well done build art where it all starts off nice, lighthearted and whatever. Nice little shadow puppets of of animals and stuff like that with nice lighthearted music until the music slows down and then it reveals the person with a missing hand. It's just so well done. It's just a very well done PSA in my opinion, and it's probably up with my favorites to be honest. When I grow up, I want to be a teacher in high school. I would teach English and get married and have three children. I reckon it would be great to be a fireman. You get to drive the engine and you get to go in burning buildings and save people and stuff. I help mum make scones and cakes. So when I grow up I'll be a, I'll, I'll have a restaurant and all my friends will come there and my mum and dad. I'm in the under nines 
and I'm a forward. I usually score a goal every match. <laughs> One day I'd want to play for Australia if I'm good enough. Authorised by the Australian Government, Canberra. One I vividly remember seeing on good old Free to Air TV back in the day. I find the start of this PSA to be the most disturbing part, but it still holds its disturbing factor the whole way through, even though I do find the start the most disturbing. I honestly don't really have much to say about this PSA besides the fact that it really does hold its disturbing factor the whole way through, and it gets you hooked straight away. In the Middle Ages, death by torture was an art form. One method involved placing a cage over you. Inside, there'd be some rats. Soon, the rats would get hungry. So they'd dine on you. Whatever was left of you would then start to rot. Then, as you're slowly eaten alive, eventually, you die. Today, people just take heroin. Some of you might not agree with me on this, but that's fine. Honestly, find the concept of being eaten alive slowly to be a very disturbing concept, and to see it done in a PSA, I find it pretty disturbing and it looks really fucking cool. Besides the stock screaming sound effect at the start of this PSA, it is a really disturbing PSA and it does keep up its disturbing nature the whole way through. Also, the fact that this PSA conveys its message about heroin pretty well is definitely a notable factor about this PSA. Hey, another one I remember seeing when I was younger. Do I really need to say much about this PSA being disturbing? I feel like it really speaks for itself with the imagery and it alone. It just straight into it. It doesn't fuck around. It doesn't hold its punches. It just goes straight into it. And I feel like it's a quite effective PSA because of that. And it shows its message of very well. Do I really need to say anything about this one? Look, I don't think so, but I will anyway. I find this PSA disturbing because it just goes straight into it and doesn't fuck around at all. I feel like that this PSA is quite like the previous PSA that I just showed off because it just goes straight into it. But this PSA has all the disturbing stuff at the start and then you get to see the victim's reactions to the whole situation and that really builds the disturbing factor and I think it really helps this PSA as well. It helps this PSA be more disturbing. And you know what? This PSA hits pretty fucking well. It is a good PSA. Everybody knows that the days are loaded. Everybody rolls. 
toes with their fingers crossed. Everybody knows the war is over. Everybody knows the good guys lost. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. That's how it goes. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. Authorised by the New South Wales Government, Sydney. I will probably never forget this PSA as long as I live. I grew up seeing this PSA quite a lot on TV, and this is so high on the list because of the fact that there are so many smokers and that this can happen to all of them, really. This can happen to everyone that smokes and I find that quite disturbing. I would also probably put this PSA up with my favorites because it's had such a long lasting impact on me and I felt like it really affected my view on smoking as well. Who can tell me hands up nine times eight? Sally? Do you know the answer? Uh. Do you want to come by my house after school? Nah. I'm fine. Can I go now? I hate watching this PSA and it makes me cringe, but in a good way. I honestly just hate watching PSAs about child abuse and I avoided it in the past covering child abuse PSAs in my old PSA reviews. It really hits me hard compared to other topics that PSAs cover. And also the fact that it has a disturbing lifelike looking puppet really adds to the disturbing factor of this PSA. I could have put Can't Look from NSPCC here, but I don't feel that PSA is scary. I feel like it's just really real and it's disturbing because of that, but it's not particularly scary. It's just extremely disturbing and I hate watching it. My name is Jacqueline Saborido. This is a picture of me before I was hit by a drunk driver, before the car caught fire, before two of my friends died, before I needed more than 40 operations. This is me when my life was just like anyone else in college. This is me after being hit by a drunk driver. Don't drink and drive, ever. This one's another one I find really hard to watch and that's hard to get me to do because I can watch most PSAs without having any reaction at all. And that's not me trying to act tough and whatnot, it's just the truth. Well, this one PSA just hits me really hard, even though it's not about child abuse, it just really hits me hard. So well done to this PSA. It's just so devastating and disturbing to see Jacqueline's face after being hit by a drunk driver. And it's also really depressing. It's just such a good PSA. I don't really have much else to say about this one besides it's just so good.
Yeah, I put this here. This PSA is just so damn disturbing because it just lets the viewer sit there and witness what's happening slowly until it cuts the text. I think this PSA is disturbing because it doesn't rely on excessive gore or anything stupid like that. It just gets straight to the point and it lets you just sit there and watch the suspense of what's going to eventually happen to the guy that gets stuck to the machine. It's a really good PSA because of how much tension it builds. Elena didn't think anyone would hurt her. Elena trusted everyone. Maria doesn't trust anyone. Elena wanted to learn English. Maria gets beaten if she says no. Elena worked in a market to support her family. Maria works for nothing. Elena wanted to help people and be a nurse. Maria services up to 40 men a day. Elena used to cry when her father was cross with her. Maria doesn't feel anything anymore. Elena's family thinks she's dead. Help me. I was Elena. I am Maria. Help me. Maria. I bet you all understand why this is here after seeing it. It's simple but really damn disturbing and I think it conveys its message very accurately to its audience. I thought the performance really sells this PSA because if this PSA had a really shit performance, it would honestly be laughed at or people would just absolutely hate it. But no, the performance really sells this PSA and it's so good. Sarah, is everything all right? This pick may be controversial being up so high, but I put it here because I honestly just find it so disturbing because it has such disturbing imagery of people dealing with multiple sclerosis. Look, I'm no expert on disabilities and whatnot, but I thought this PSA would accurately convey how it feels to have multiple sclerosis and stuff like that. And it's also really fucking disturbing and it does make you depressed because it does make you sad that someone has to suffer through this. Like a lot of people have to suffer through disabilities and whatnot. And it's very depressing, honestly. So this PSA is just really good and disturbing and depressing. And I was lucky my uncle didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs>
I really wish I never saw this PSA. This PSA disturbs me so much and it is absolutely fucking insane. I thought the whole metaphor of the tentacle is very strong and very fucking disturbing. It really conveys the message so damn well that child abuse sticks with you for the rest of your life. No matter what you do, it will stick with you. It's so fucking disturbing and that is why this isn't my number one. So anyways, thank you all for watching this video. Thank you all for listening to my list. As well as my opinion, make sure to leave your opinion on the top 20 scariest PSAs in the comments. I will read them all and respond and whatnot. Um, anyways, like the video if you enjoyed the video. Also, comment down below if you want me to do more lists in the future. I will possibly do that. And also, we're going to have more content out on this channel. Um, so far, I have got um, PSA reactions every week coming out. The first week is going to be with my admins and mods in my Discord server. Check out the Discord link in the description if you want to check it out. But yeah, no, I'm going to get people to react to PSAs every week and obviously I'm starting with my admins and mods and then eventually I will get other guests and whatnot maybe some other people in discord and whatnot to react to PSAs I have peaked out PSAs which I'll be recording out on Sunday hopefully I'll get it out not long after that but anyways if you enjoyed this video make sure to check out all my stuff anyways I'll catch you on the next one